good day all in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to design a simple um banner a simple marketing banner all right so without wasting our time let's quickly proceed to what we'll be doing for today all right so just like you've seen on the screen i'm just going to pick up my rectangular tool then i'm going to draw a square shape of this nature okay and you may want to adjust yours you know this is not square any longer this is rectangle all right so then i want to have something like this okay and i also want to have something like this just this <coughs> i'm going to be leaving the colors um code for all the colors I, um, I have used in this design in the description below and I'm going to also make it available on my blog site so that you can always use the color code you don't have to have problem with selecting or getting the color code all right so for the first one I'm going to okay just pick this and let me just do this so so that you get what I'm trying to do <coughs> So this is not the color I'm going to use, but so that you know how to apply your color code. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll be using RGB color color scheme. So for my first color, I'm going to use um five three one five three. Okay, and one four nine. Okay, and for these, I'm going to be using <coughs> one eight five. <coughs> it's just a lighter version of the first color I used. So then I want to. Do something like this so I can just make this gray like you see so I'm going to remove the outline around the shape and if you like you can make it white doesn't matter I don't need any specific color in that aspect okay I want to have that all right so this is going to be having white color and I'm going to increase the outline to it and I'm going to make it white for now then I'm going to make this black for now or better still I'm just going to use this color so now let me quickly pick up my picture let's just wait for this to load up <laughs> so I'm just going to drag this into my walk So this is the image I want to use. I'm going to resize the shape of this image. So 
so i'm just going to power click this image by dragging with my right click button and dropping it in this area so then i select power click another way to go about that is once i select this image i come to effect then i select power click place inside and i select the frame out place inside so then i just come here to edit this okay so this is what i want okay i think this is okay so i'm just going to copy this then i'm going to do this um paste what i've copied then i'll select my shape to then I'm just going to take off some of these layers. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I can still go. By the way, that's perfect. All right, so now I have that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to type in some text. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to type this. You can use any font you prefer, so I just want to use something good here. Okay. Fuck. Okay, so I'm just going to edit this to what I want. So I want to add this to the center. So this is the text I want to have so that this particular one can come over and can show on this layer. I have to add, I have to add an outline of white, then I'll make it something around, um, okay, like, um, for, let's try four. Okay, I think that's okay and you may decide to add shadow so that you can see what you have done okay so the shadow will help to bring it out to show more so as you can see
okay that's that then i just want to add some other few texts and want to add Okay, these are going to be the services I want to actually post in. So, <clears throat> all right, so I'm just going to give some space in here. to use um, Calibri so I'm just going to do this also So no outline. So I'm just going to this. Then I'm going to replicate this using Control R. Control R will replicate this. Okay. So I just want to do this again. So Control R. Balance all of that later. I can delete this. I take this up. This just to balance things out. I can do this. Don't need all of this. Okay. So we have this. Alright, we have this. Then I quickly want to do this also. I'm just copy this and bring it here. I know you might have been seeing this in design and you want probably wonder how it's been how this is being done, right? So I'm just going to do this for you so you can see and, uh, just gonna make it as just as simple. 
and I'm going to have it like this, like this, and like this. I can decide to leave it black or change the color or probably just make it white. All right, so there's for there's. Okay, I am going to quickly add something else. Okay, let me just say at this part you just want to add your logo so you just want to add your logo here so you can add your logo to the side and uh, what more do you have want to hack um hard rather Okay, I want to have this also. All right, let's click this one and two. For my name, just going to remove the transformation effect here. So for this, I'm going to maintain, no, I'm going to use red. So let's just see. For some reason, I can't bring out the um, color toggle panel for some reason. So, all right, so I just want to add um, a YouTube icon. Just hold on why that comes up. I don't know what's wrong. This is supposed to have just display. Oh, 
I don't know what's wrong with my icon picker, so for now I'm just going to stick with this. So I'm just going to stop at this end there. So at the end of this, this is what we have. We're just going to view this on um, full screen. So this is what we have. Very simple and unique. So um quick one, quick one. I'm just going to quickly create other copy of this and I'm just going to tweak the color so oh sorry I don't know what's wrong here all right so just going to just duplicate this then all I, I'm just going to do is just tweak the color and just change some few things here. so the color I'm going to use this time is going to be 153 5353 <coughs> five, three. then I'm going to change this also to Six eight seven eight seven eight. Then I'm just going to do the same here. And I'll do the same for this. I'm going to do the same for this. Let's see. Okay, good. Then this is going to change also, and I'm going to do the same here. Okay, so I'm going to create the third version of this. Um, for this, I want to have it as white background. Then bring the text to the front. Shift page up. So I'm going to create one more. Just add three different colors. Okay. For this now, I'm going to have. Um, <coughs> sorry. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Let's use two one four. Um, two one four four seven one four. Seven one. Uh, yep. Okay. And for this, <coughs> I'm going to use two two seven three eight three eight. Okay. Let me just take this. The light version. So same thing, same thing, I'm going to have this as this, and I'm going to have this as this, then I'm going to have this and this as this, then I'm going to have this as this, then I'm going to have this as this, <laughs> just kidding, around. so if you look at this, we have these cool colors, So let me quickly view this on the screen so that you can see what we have. What am I doing? So view. So now we have the same design in three different colors, and you can see how beautiful it looks. So I'm going to leave the um, downloadable link for this graphic so that you can edit to your taste to whatever you desire. And uh, please, I will appreciate your subscription. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up, like my channel, like my videos. And this will inspire me to create more day by day. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. God bless you.
Thank you. 